What's up guys? Uh, today we're taking a look at the 40 centimeter KOC Godzilla 1999. Much like the 1955 that I recently did, the quality of sculpt here is really uh, top tier. And unlike the 1955, where the spines basically came together on a row, all these spines came individually. So that was different. That was a little more tedious, but otherwise very similar in the way to go about building this kit. And much like the 1955, also very, very heavy. It comes with the two portraits. You get a roaring pose and a closed mouth, both phenomenal, as you'll see. If there's one thing I feel like they could have done better, it's marking which spines go where. It was a little hard to see which ones were supposed to line up. I had spent more time actually just kind of choosing the obvious ones first and then by process of el elimination, figuring out where the rest went. Here you see the head sculpts getting close to final and as well as the paint I started doing on the base. And with those teasers out the way, let's just go and reveal the final product here. And yeah, guys, I mean, this is, this is it. Uh, the, again, 1999 Godzilla from, well, Godzilla 2000 Millennium. I literally just did a video on this same Godzilla from the X plus vinyl figure that I repainted. So I'm not going to go too crazy into all that stuff. Just talk about the kit here. Um, I think the details of the sculpt and the texture really, really speak for themselves. I usually go for the closed mouth version on these pieces. I usually almost unanimously favor them but in this case i think they both look stellar uh but i mean this guy looks so powerful it's been said that this godzilla was an updated new take on the design for 1962 king kong versus godzilla and you could definitely see that with the closed mouth look with a very reptilian face and head shape much like the 1962 design he's got the eyes kind of peering into the top of his head. And really the sculpt is just perfect. I mean, this is the nicest looking Godzilla 1999 that I've ever seen in person. I think it's safe to say Akira Ibaraki knocked another one out of the park. Really cool looking piece, really impressive. And maybe my favorite part of this head sculpt is actually those teeth. Um, just really gnarly looking, really cool. And with that, now we're going to take a look with the other alternative head, well, with the roaring uh, pose on him. And again, I mean, I really can't say I have a favorite. I mean, I don't know if I prefer one or the other. This thing just adds a whole kind of spunk to him. Just changing the head really kind of makes it feel like a whole new figure, a whole new statue. And again, I've seen a lot of Godzilla 1999 figures, model kits, statues. This one, to me, captures the imposing look that he had on screen more than the other ones. I mean, it doesn't hurt that the kit itself is 40 centimeters tall and extremely solid. I wanted to paint this in a way. I realized with this much green, it was easy for it to look flat. So I wanted to paint this guy with a lot of highlights nuanced of course but that's why you'll see different shades of green and there's greens mixed with brown that i did dry brushing with on these spikes um and different areas of the texture that really protrude from the rest of the body i wanted to accentuate some of those more i'm going to say spikier parts of the body also including areas like the brows and the ears uh, just to really add dimension amongst the rest of the scales that it's kind of contrasting against and koc i mean the lineup they have so far of these kits is ridiculous i mean even just the recent history of the 1962 to 1964 to 1955 and this guy if they just keep pumping things out to this level of quality you're gonna have a very impressive lineup I mean it's gonna look like a museum with the with just the quality of these likenesses and speaking of some of these other KOC's particularly the 1955 um, I put them next to each other to see how they look I mean I think they they both look incredible together um, they're definitely meant to be lined up 
you know, on a, on a shelf or in a display case together. When you consider the size of them, the craftsmanship, just the, the consistent bar that's being met here. Um, and again, I only have these two here pictured together, but the 1964 is incredible. The 1962 is right up there as well. I know he's got a Space Godzilla coming out. I think that's what he's working on next. I do think it's a little shorter um, in scale, but if he is going to get back to doing some of these Godzillas, I can't wait to see which one is next. I'd imagine the Heisei Godzilla has got to be coming up. I don't think we have any from him so far. So it would be really cool to see his take on a Godzilla 1989 or an 84 or a 95. I would feel pretty safe to say that if he goes Heisei, it's going to start off with one of those three. And as we get to the close of this video, I'm going to leave you with a 360 kind of wraparound view of the 40 centimeter Godzilla 1999 with the closed mouth and the open mouth. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it definitely helps. And if I, I apologize if I sound tired or just a little drained. It's a little after one o'clock in the morning and just trying to push out this content because I don't know when I'm going to really have the time to do so. So I didn't want to sleep on this one. You know, now that I have this in the 1955 done, it's all going to the same place. So I want to get it all packed up and kind of make sure I leave those guys safe to uh, be picked up by the client when the time is ready. So didn't want to, again, linger on it. Uh, as always, thank you guys. Everybody be safe. Peace.